Ah. Uh, what I'm about to read to you is uh, Jeremiah 50, and then later on, Jeremiah 51. Of course, I won't have uh, enough uh, data to... I, it, it'll be too long if I get to uh, Jeremiah 51. But I will be reading Jeremiah 50 and giving my interpretation with it. Uh, I'm been into uh, the study of Jeremiah 15, 51 for a long time. <laughs> uh, putting my interpretation with it over the decades. I do mean decades. Uh, I, if you're an atheist, you'll definitely think I'm uh, reading into things. But uh, ever since the early, well, let's say early to mid 1980s, yeah, I read Jeremiah 1551, and I think hmm, maybe that's talking about Russia. I think no, maybe I think maybe it's talking about America. Maybe America is Babylon, you know. And then Iraq invaded Kuwait in uh, 1990, of course, and it seemed to light up, light up like a Christmas tree, uh, especially Habakkuk one and two. Not Habakkuk three. That seems to be something else. But anyway, it made me think. 30 years ago uh, <laughs> that we could be living in the end times, you know? Um, but here it is, almost 2017, and, uh, well, I don't know. All I know is, is that um, when the Shiites in the south and the Kurds in the north rose up to overthrow Saddam, I was thinking, wow, this is going along with this and this. And then, of course, Bush said, ah, not going to help the Kurds, you know, or not, you know, not going to help them, and uh, things were dashed. But then they started up again. Uh, I, 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 I thought, okay, this is it, this is it, I forget it, you know, even though the helicopter gunships seem to go along with certain scriptures, uh, a certain scripture in it, um, Clinton came around and started bombing Saddam again and going after the, he, he, they set up the no-fly zone and stuff, and I was thinking, oh, that goes along with this, and, and then Gulf War II. from Operation Desert Storm to Operation uh, Iraqi Freedom, and I thought, wow, this is going here and here, but what's this pushing from the south? I was expecting something from the north with the Kurds, and yet we were pushing from the south, it, from Kuwait, and I thought, oh, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, then the Saddam statue went down, and I went, ah, I've just been reading into things. I'm just like one of those bums from Waiting for Godot, you know? And uh, I didn't touch Jeremiah 15 51 for... About 12 years, as you know. Yeah. No, 11 years. Then I started getting more thinking, oh my gosh, the, this ISIS started coming about. And, uh, and they took over Mosul. And now Mosul is right, right next to Nineveh. And I was thinking Nahum. And anyway... I kind of got back into it again, you know, and I will be reading uh, why I got it back into it and put my interpretation with it. And I'll probably have my sights set on it until uh, Mosul falls and nothing happens and go back to uh, exposing Islam. But right now, I'm out of exposing Islam. I'm more into focused again on northern Iraq with the Kurds because it goes along with stuff that I'll be reading to you. At least to me. Could be wrong, but that's it. 
and it will be interesting to see your responses just to see how much I have been reading into things if I have been reading into things if not well hey I have put other videos onto uh, YouTube and LiveLeak that dealt with this sort of stuff and no one sees them. no one looks at them they just are not interested and so I'm pretty sure that you probably won't be looking at it either but you know I believe in God I leave it up to God and if God wants you to think this is significant so be it if God wants you to think it's a bunch of me reading into things I'm just a, a real life version of one of those uh, waiting for Godot uh, <clears throat> bums uh, from a Beckett play well, okay yeah what the heck so I will read the first part of Jeremiah 50 to you and see what you think. Let's see how much time do I have left here. I've got four minutes. All right. It will be... Oh, shoot. Closed it up on itself. Oh, damn. Dang. Oh, well. <laughs> see how I can get this thing started again. Maybe if I close it up. Wait a few minutes. I mean, a few moments. i uh, open it up and see what happens now. Okay. It just might start now. Yeah, okay. All right. The word of the Lord spake against the Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. And the reason why I used to think this was something is because Babylon is located in current day Iraq. It's, it's in ruins, but it's located in current day Iraq. You know something? I better... Turn this thing on so I don't go over. Let's see here. Better make it a little further more here. Okay. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and, and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken. Bel is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. When I read this, I thought, oh, that's like history, you know? Until a year ago when ISIS started destroying, they, they went into Iraq and, 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 and started destroying um, those priceless artifacts. And what were they? They were, they were uh, the art of the ancient times with the Merodach and Bel. And just recently, uh, they went into Syria to Palmyra and they destroyed the, the Temple of Bel. And uh, so I see that like, oh my gosh, that seems to be in our time for our time after all. So that seems to be fulfilled now, thanks to ISIS. I'll continue here. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, and I don't know if that north that country is, but I think it might be Russia, uh, because we weren't doing a dang thing until we weren't we weren't doing a dang thing with ISIS. We were, until uh, Putin went in to Syria and started uh, actually bombing stuff that mattered. Before that, we were hitting, we were using expensive uh, missiles, like million-dollar missiles, on abandoned pickup trucks and abandoned buildings. A blamer would call them up and say, uh, "We're going to be bombing your building." Uh, or bear leap. So they'd get out and they'd bomb an empty building with an expensive missile. And then out of the north. Russia said, hey, no, this is how you do it. This is how you really do it. See, okay. And um, now, a blamer's hands are tied. He's got to really actually do something. And it looks like now the Kurds are coming down with us giving them air cover. And guess what? The Kurds are out of the north. Yeah, for out of the north have come up a nation against... It's the Kurds that are coming down against ISIS. They're the ones that are really on fire to make Kurdistan greater, which I'm all for by getting Mosul back and securing it away from the Sunni Muslims, even though the Kurds are Sunni Muslim in name only. Okay. Brother North cometh against a, a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall be depart both man and beast. And now I don't know if this is symbolic or if it's really going to happen, and if this is talking about Mosul in our time, it sounds like something really heavy is going to take place 
with this Mazul uh, Isis curd thing. I better stop it here.